Tree of Life Holistic Wellness Center's Herbal Lessons of the Month are presented by Dr. Arundel Spindalalis, a traditional natural path with over 20 years of medical experience. Welcome to Tree of Life Holistic Wellness Center's Herb of the Month lesson. We've decided to start doing a video series to help everyone out there kind of get their feet wet in herbal education and about a lot of herbal medications that you can use at home to help yourself. Now again, full disclosure, this is meant for educational purposes only and we are recommending that you continue to see your doctor and discuss with them these protocols if you would like to add them to your, to your daily routine. So today is the first episode of uh, herbal monthly herbal lesson. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about one of my absolute favorite herbs. It is a miracle herb. It's something that we all can have access to just about every day in our home and that is cayenne. The Latin name is capsicum annum. I think just about everybody, at least most of the industrial nations around the world know about cayenne. Most think, that, oh that's a very very hot herb and it's so harmful it hurts my stomach. But let's go ahead over just a few of the medical uses of cayenne. First of all, to put everyone at ease, cayenne is, the medical term for it is aerubifacient. What that means is that wherever it touches, it brings blood to that region. And that means wherever it touches, both internal and external, that if blood comes to that area, along with it comes uh, nutrients, oxygen, medications and such so it helps bring healing to that area more quickly. Now one of the beauties about cayenne is that it does not cause, no matter how much you might think you're in the fires of Hades, it does not cause any tissue damage. It gets hot because the blood is brought to that region and the nerves are stimulated but it actually causes no damage. For example, garlic, an amazing herb, and we'll talk about that in the future. But garlic, if you put raw garlic juice on the skin, it actually can cause a blister. But cayenne causes no tissue damage. Instead, it does the opposite. All right, so what are some of the wonderful health benefits of cayenne? All right, Dr. Christopher was probably the modern world's most famous herbalist and naturopathic doctor. He was a huge advocate of cayenne. In his 35 or so odd years of practice, he never lost a patient to heart attack or stroke. And I can say in my 20 or so odd years of practice, I have never lost a patient to heart attack or stroke. Um, for example, cayenne, wherever it touches both internal and external, it brings blood to that region. And what that does is, let's say for example, someone's having a heart attack. We've actually seen this, witnessed it. Uh, Dr. Christopher used it. When you take the cayenne and you put it, squirt it on their tongue, literally within moments of having the heart attack, they can literally feel this whoosh within the body. And it pulls the pressure off of the heart. And we've seen instead of the four golden minutes, we've seen it be 20, 30 golden minutes, gives them more time to get to the hospital. We've seen it actually save lives. When they're having a stroke, you squirt that cayenne on their tongues and oh yeah, they're gonna say how hot it is and how miserable, but it's okay because it pulls the pressure off the brain and it literally can stop the stroke in its tracks. And again, giving you that 20, 30 golden minutes versus the four. And because of that, it's amazing at stopping bleeding, both internal and external. It's, <clears throat> you if you squirt it on the wound, it'll be hot. But you can literally, if you don't want to put it on the wound, you can literally squirt it in your mouth, just by on your mouth, not on the wound, and then count to 60. And by the time you get to 60, in almost every single case, every case I've ever seen, the bleeding stops. Even though it, you didn't put it on the wound itself, you just squirt it in your mouth because it, it equalizes the pressure throughout the body and it pulls it off the wound. And I've seen miracles with cayenne stopping bleeding and that's for internal bleeding as well we've seen it stop uh, bleeding from stomach ulcers and various internal uh, bleeding in other areas of the body and it literally can stop or slow the bleeding and can save lives it's also wonderful to use in case of uh, they're going into shock squirt a little bit on their tongue it'll take them right out of that shock all right those are some of the basic benefits we also like using cayenne for 
uh, viral infections and bacterial infections of nature. For example, with our online dispensary at Tree of Life hwc.com you can actually go to our online dispensary we have cayenne tincture we recommend pretty much about everyone keep cayenne tincture in the house keep it in your medicine cabinet and if you have a family member that is prone towards heart attacks or strokes or tia things of that nature uh, or bleeding issues you can carry it with you at all times it's made from alcohol so it pretty much lasts forever as long as you don't leave it in a hot sunny area it will pretty much last forever, and I've seen it save lives. But we also have another medication online called Herbidine. It's basically the herbal sister to Betadine, and we use it for rashes, infection, cuts, wounds. So they both help kill the infections and so forth, stop the bleeding. And then Herbidine, which has cayenne in it, absolutely amazing. We've used it for shingles, for herpes, kills viral infections on contact, uh, poison oak, poison ivy, just rub it on there and it destroys the oil. Uh, we've had one case, it was with uh, my wife's father. He had shingles for about 30 days. No, I'm sorry, it was about six weeks. The worst case of shingles usually resolve itself in about 30 days, but his had gone on for six weeks and it had just covered his body from head to toe. Well, his other doctor told him, said, there's nothing I can do about it. I don't know what to do for you because nothing's healing it. And so he called us. We went over and we brought just two things. We brought Herbidine, which has the cayenne in it, and some other herbs like Golden Seal. And we brought him Golden Seal capsules. And he, we told him, and he was miserable. We said, put the Herbidine, rub it on to the, uh, to the rashes, to the sores, and take the, and take the Golden Seal and take it internally orally. And literally by the next day he called us and he said, I'm already feeling better. In a week, the, the shingles were gone. Because you'll notice that a lot of commercial applications have capsicum salves, which uses parts of cayenne, but it's not the whole plant. So cayenne tincture is absolutely a lifesaver. Uh, we've also used it with patients to help drop their blood pressure down, to help control their blood pressure. It heals the the arterial and vascular walls. One last story real quick is Dr. Christopher again. Uh, he took cayenne his whole life. He recommends that usually you start off with like just a little touch, less than a quarter teaspoon in a glass of water, drink that every day. Okay, and then slowly increase up. And over his life, he'd gotten up to about three tablespoons at a time. Because what it does is it has medical constituents in it that helps heal the veins and arteries. And so here he was, he was uh, in his 70s, and he slipped on an icy sidewalk and cracked his head and passed away. Well, his son David said, okay, you know what, he would want this to do an autopsy. And they did an autopsy on him at 70 plus years old. And because he had done cayenne his whole life, they found that he had the vascular system of a 20 year old. Cayenne is a miracle herb. Highly recommend everybody consider using it. Um, it is a lifesaver. All right, well, that's it for today, and uh, I look forward to speaking with you again in a month when we'll cover the next herbal lesson of the month. All of you have a most blessed and gentle day. Bye-bye.